Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Spanish channel's lit. What is up? This is Sneak Geek 87 from YouTube and Instagram. You're watching the almost daily vlog with Fomer Simpson and Young Buckets because anything less would be uncivilized. Today is an exciting day. Number one is we were doing videos Monday through Friday. Now we're basically doing a video every single day, weekends included. So if you are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything. We have a ton of really, really dope shit that's planned over the next few weeks. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, you want to see more videos like this, hit that thumbs up button as well. That lets us know that you dig the content and you want to see more stuff like this. Oh, and real quick, because we've been getting a ton of questions. The uncivilized dad hats will be available to purchase on MrFormerSimpson.com this Wednesday, which is May 10th. 28 bucks. We do ship internationally and one size fits all. Okay, cool. So this is kind of an exciting video for us because... We haven't done a ton of videos like this. Yeah. Buckets has been a thrifting magician since he was in diapers, basically. Mom Dukes is a thrifting fanatic. She's like the terminator of the thrift game. Yeah. When you go to secondhand stores, is that a part of it? Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a challenge. It's like, like a game. Yeah. And she passed that on to you. You've always been more of a thrifter than me. I kind of ride on your coattails, so to speak. This guy is, he is the thrifting pro, not me. Now, having said that, a dude named Miguel, Miguel hit Buckets up and, well, well why, why, why don't you tell us what Miguel happened? hit me up on uh, Instagram DM and okay. was like, yo, check out the Salvation Army. Okay. Because he had just watched our thrifting video right. and we didn't go to that one. He was like, check out this other one. He's like, they got some dope stuff. They got some starter jackets. Starter jackets. The magic word, the buzzword. Listen, Buckets and I have been looking for starter jackets at the thrift stores around here for a long, for, since we've been here. It is the holy grail of thrifting. Well, and the thing about it is here, we're in Florida, so jackets are not really that prominent. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, there. there's not an abundance of them. So other places, maybe they pop up all the time. Here they do not. Starter jackets are a huge part of our childhood. Yeah. And... Make a long story short, Buckets took this information. We went to the thrift. What we came back with is nothing short of legendary. This is this was the gold mine of all gold mines. We've never had a thrifting trip that was this successful. No way. Not even close. So with that said, I've already been we've already been talking a lot. We gotta break this stuff out. So as you can see, we actually got some more stuff, but these are the gems in my humble opinion. I'm just gonna run down the list. I don't want this to take a super, super long time. I'm gonna run down the list and you can just get a feel for it. But these are, when I say these are gems, these are gems. We were playing no games. We were playing no games at all. So, up first, thrift store t-shirts are hard to beat. Agreed. Look at this t-shirt right here. Phenomenal, sensational. Sensational. This is, you wanna talk about the real Lion King. This is the real Mufasa, the real Simba. Right here. Look at young Simba, chilling, just waiting for his time. Scar is not on the shirt because we don't mess with scars. Mufasa, Simba, and the good guys. Okay, number two. Look at this. This may be one of my favorite t-shirts of all time right here. For those of you who don't know, I have a Yorkie. I also have a teacup Yorkie Chihuahua mix, a Chorky. But he's got some Yorkie in him, but I have a, a purebred, thoroughbred stallion of a Yorkshire Terrier. So this is phenomenal. I already said phenomenal. This shirt is amazing. If you see me wearing it every single day, don't I, be offended. Don't be offended. I probably washed it at least twice that week. Okay? So this is amazing. Literally, if we would have went to this thrift store and this was all we came back I with, I would have been happy. I would have been happy. Yeah. But it, it, it goes on. An Ohio State t-shirt slash, it's like a t-shirt jersey. 
I call that a sideline. I call this the manager special right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the team. You know, You're on the practice squad. Yeah, man, maybe not. Maybe you're, maybe just, you're just on the film squad. Maybe you're just handling the analytics, something like that. But nonetheless, it's dope. Very cool, though, and the quality on it, A-OK. Next, again, with the sports thing, that throwback vintage sportswear is phenomenal. Keeping it in the I Big gotta, Ten. I got to stop saying phenomenal. Keeping it in the Big Ten, Ohio State to Indiana. Now, we're Big East guys, old Big East guys. Yeah. But nonetheless, couldn't pass on this. It's cool. I played Indiana. That's true. Buckets played against Indiana when he was in college. In Bloomington. So In, in Bloomington. So there's that. It, it's just dope. And one of the things I really like about this is it's a red t-shirt. It's but, striped. But, but, but it's got those really thin, subtle stripes. And I think that that's cool. Next up, a plain black Calvin Klein t-shirt. I'm not going to say too much about this except for CK is classic. And this is a little bit of foreshadowing. To something else a little later on remember i said that next is <laughs> this is a gem yeah tommy hill figure it's hard to find good hill figure agreed a quarter zip fleece crew neck long sleeve hill figure athletics hill figure on the neck this is a gem another tommy hill figure classic button down you can't go wrong with this colorway it's a Knicks colorway. Knicks colorway. You cannot go wrong with a Knicks colorway. You cannot go wrong New York City colorway on anything. You got the Tommy Hilfiger crest. Not on the pocket. That'd be too simple. Bam. Underneath the pocket. Tommy Hill tag. And the condition on both of these Tommy items is, I want to say pristine, but clean. Not pristine, but it's clean. Okay. The next. Yeah. I yeah. insisted on buying this. This is straight Hugh Hefner status. Now, this is pristine. Nautica bathrobe with the tag still on. What does it say in here? The Nautica Furnishing Collections is in the Nautica tradition of comfort. We make the illest robes that you could ever dream of. And bam, here it is. I, I can't disagree with them. I mean, look at that. You got the flags. You got the compass. I mean... This right here, you put this on, and Hugh Hefner doesn't got shit on No, you. no, you're the boss. You're the boss. This is boss moves here. And look at it. Look at it. I mean, this is amazing. This is amazing right here. It's getting better and better. And yeah. I don't even know how to do that because th these are, these t-shirts are... We got vintage Tommy. We got vintage Nautica. Vintage Calvin Klein. That's the true. big three. The big three. Okay, now on to the starter jackets. I'm actually going to flip this around. On to the starter jackets. It is jacket time. Yes, we will not be able to wear these too much right now, if at all. No, I'm going to wear them 90, 100 degree heat in the summertime. You catch me in a starter jacket. Wow. Nothing underneath? Nothing underneath. Short shorts. Sandal boys. Wow. Bam. Detroit Red Wings. I mean, word to Steve Eiserman. I don't know who that is. Wow. How dare you? One of the things I really dig about this one is not only that Red Wing logo right there, but the Red Wings yeah. here. It, it's so classic. It's so 90s. You got the hood with the starter jacket on it, starter on the sleeve. You got the classic, the ever classic starter logo, zipper. I mean, when I tell you we've been searching for starter jackets for a long time. We have been searching for starter jackets for a long time. Come on, man. Dan, Dan Marino. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Ace! Yeah, Dan? You have any more of that gum? That's none of your damn business, and I'll thank you to stay out of my personal affairs. You're a weird guy, Ace. Weird guy. This is... That's Snowflake. This is Snowflake right here. Yeah. This is Snowflake from Ace Ventura. I mean, come on. How cool is that? And it's like, I feel like the quality of everything was so much better back then. It's not Starter, it's Apex. So you have that logo. But then the Miami Dolphins logo is just, it's, it's unreal. The colorway is sick. It's super 90s. It's super vintage. And it's super dope. I love how the hood is black. It's just, this jacket executed perfectly. I mean, this is, it, 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 it's tough to beat. And last but not least, bang, bang. The Phoenix Suns starter jacket. Now, for anyone who has been watching our videos for a while now, 
I've mentioned my Phoenix Sun starter jacket several times yep. in previous videos. I had a Phoenix Suns starter jacket. Now, it wasn't this exact one. It was more white. It was the home colorway. It was the home colorway. Yeah. This is the away version. And, like, look at that sleeve with the logo right there. NBA logo on the back. Jerry West. Super official. Phoenix Suns. Simple on the chest. This is beyond dope. This is fantastic. This is my childhood right here. Like, this brings back so many memories. So, all of these at the same thrift spot. Just a few days ago, we went to eight or nine spots and didn't find barely anything. Yeah. Nothing that would be on this rack. It was it was gold mine. This is, to date, our best thrifting haul. And we haven't made thrift haul videos before, but... We have been thrifting but we, times. But we have done, thr like, thrifting hauls. We just haven't shown it on camera. And nothing ever like this. Yeah. This is gem on gem on gem on gem. Miguel, that's buckets. Also from me, two thumbs up, homie. He gave us the assist of all assists, telling us to go up there and check it out. So, shouts to him. Thank you all for watching. Leave us a comment below and let us know the dopest item. Whether it's a sneaker, whether it's a jacket, whether it's a t-shirt. Let us know the dopest item you have ever found while thrifting. So, this is Goodwill Hunting Episode 2. We're going to keep it going. This is going to be a new series for us. Some of the cool stuff we find is not our size. Yeah. Moving forward, if we see something that is this level of dopeness, we're going to buy it. And then we want to be able to throw the assist to you all. Stay tuned. In the next few videos, we will let you know where you can buy some of these gems that don't fit us, but are way too good to be wasting away on a rack somewhere you know, smelling like mothballs and old yarn and old yarn. That's a good description. Yeah. That's all we have for now. So buckets, foamshire, farms. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of here.